Elections are important. It matters who wins and who loses elections. But understanding American politics, society, and history simply through the lens of the most recent election is not always the best approach. I say this on Tuesday morning when I don't know who's going to win the Virginia governor's race. I do know that everybody will read too much into it. One of the big problems with understanding politics simply through the last election is that we ignore important trends. So focusing on McAuliffe and Youngkin and is Youngkin an exceptionally good Republican candidate and was it smart to nominate another old white guy who's already been governor and what does this tell us about the state of Biden's presidency? All of that is good. It's fun and it's kibitzy, but it's not insight. It's not knowledge. And it obscures perhaps the larger, more important developments. For example, the Republican Party evolving even more quickly and more powerfully into an authoritarian force in American politics. The state of American politics remaining one where we are sharply divided and both sides are equally strong. These are the bigger Big, bigger picture trends that we see continuing in Virginia, not starting in Virginia. And those will be true no matter who wins and who loses. So sometimes the myopia of just thinking about the most recent election actually obscures more than it enlightens us with regards to real knowledge about American politics. I don't know who's going to win, but I know that the major trends are going to remain.